question. Uh, what is the reason Norway happiest place on the earth? Peaceful. Peaceful. The reason why Norway is a peaceful place is historical coincidence. It's a country that is placed in Europe that colonized the whole world 500 years ago. It set the stage for the modern era where certain parts are poor, certain parts are rich. Norway happens to be there, in the rich part. Okay, thank you so much. You are from where you filming part? I am from uh, actually BHU Media. Okay. I am from Mass Communication Department. So who are you making the movie for? Uh, a YouTube channel, BHU Art Sala. Okay, you have to <laughs> share. Uh, uh, share on, uh, you on share YouTube. with Ravin Sergi? Uh, there are so many students uh, from my channel. Uh, these for us, they are from BHU. But make sure that we get the link. Uh, okay, uh, Rana sir, we will provide you. Good. Okay. Summer night, you celebrate something like July or June or something. There's a fire, something like that. So me, my friend, and then uh, people of uh, Hamrai, we were celebrating the midsummer night, and uh, everybody took uh, some wine. Yeah, some wine. I'm telling you, some wine. <laughs> I want to take more wine, <laughs> but I'm reducing the level for India. <laughs> So of course they have offered me, but I'm not very fond of alcohol. I'm not yet developed alcohol. So I passed to Jyoti. She's good in that. <laughs> so we spent like two, three hours. We cooked something here and there. And then uh, my friend's stepmother, uh, we came through the, her car. She drove to like 10 minute drive, something like that. And now we decided, okay, it's 11 o'clock night although it does not look like a night but it is a night so let's go back and it's time to sleep so she said now we have to walk you know, why why to walk there is a car we are we are tired we have dance and then everything now i don't want to walk so she said look we have taken wine who is here to see whether you have taken wine or not? In this Homerai remote sense, there is a one house here and one house one kilometer ahead. Then she said, no, rules followed by us from inside. There is no policing required. Now, okay, in India, if you drive crazy and police understood that you have taken wine, we are machine. Open your mouth, insert 80% alcohol. You know, like that. So we, and then the Indians will argue your machine is not working. <laughs> <laughs> we, have, we have taken yeah, only one bottle of alcohol, which is normal. And if, if, if someone is from Punjab, and it is start from 2 liters. So they say the symbol is start from 2 liters. So then it begins like that. So I'm just citing you that 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 example, that story, that learning has impacted such a 
thing in my mind that how this people from any country is important, how they have to take the rules and regulations for their country and they should feel proud of that. It is not a mandatory forceful thing you wanted to do here and there by hiding. For example, just giving you another example that there is a state called Bihar where Bodhgaya is there. Uh, officially, alcohol is not allowed. You know, suddenly we found that why so many visitors in Varanasi? Because it is a boundary area. Because no alcohol in Bihar. So let us go for tour to Kashi. Then we will have a Darshan Kashi Vishnu and Prasad of Kashi Vishnu. <laughs> so we always try to get some, you know, this other way to not follow the rules. So I, I was very happy to see that. You observe this thing in Norway. Uh, and, and I don't think that all Europe is like that, not, not at all, it is not at all. So Nordic are different, Norse are different, that's why they are here, that's why we feel so much connected. So uh, in fact I request the people from India and students from you people, they try to feel rules regulation by yourself, don't think that others will say you don't have to do, then only you can stop yourself. So that is the one thing which I would like to highlight from the Norway. So India should follow that. Of course, there are many things which Indian uh, Norwegian can follow. We are very good people, but at the same time, some people face, face a lot of issues also. So, uh, initially this program uh, was not used to be like that, but Siv and Kunut uh, very confidently, they convinced me that Praveen, let's do like that. And I have, a, I have a full faith in both of them because I, I, I always ready for some experiment. Let's do some experiment, you know. I'm not as fast as Frida in walking, <laughs> but, but, but I try to learn as fast as I can do. So I, I, I consider this workshop is a very learning. Although me, Kurut and she was initially planned that we should also have a group and we should be also doing like that, exchanging the ideas. But since she was leading, I was managing the show, Kunut was busy in presentation, so many things. So we teachers were not part of that, active part of that. But next time we'll also try to uh, be part of that. So for me, it was very successful learning process. I'm sure they both students from BHU and students from Oslomed. This must be a lifetime experience. But at the same time, I'll request Indian student do not knock the door of Norwegian every time once you get their phone numbers or social media or yet because Indian student or Indians lot of spend a lot of time on mobile phone and social media and all the thing. But in, in Europe or in Norway, they have certain time things, you know. If they are studying, they are studying. If they are doing some work, they are doing some work. If there is some free time, I'll give you another example. Me and C was communicating. And she used to write email, Praveen, but this week I am outside of my office, so I will be not reading my official email. See the line, right? For us Indian, if you are sleeping, there will be call. Yes, sir, I will come in the morning. <laughs> okay. So I will request the Indian student, do not over disturb the Norwegian friends. Sometime, okay, that's fine. When they will get time, they will respond. It's night, every morning, good morning, good morning, Frida. Yeah, we have a habit of that. We have a habit of that. No. And if, it, if they will not receive any reply, oh, their heart is broken. Oh. Whatever we thought about Norwegian, they are not good actually. Like that. So, don't consider that they will reply. They will take some time, but don't poke every five minutes, right? <laughs> so this is advice for the Indian. So let's uh, end here, but before ending, we have a nice, uh, done? We have a nice ceremony for you, right? So we have a certificate ready for you. So you are going to get an international workshop participation certificate signed by Dean, signed by your two teachers, and uh, of course, I'll also sign. <laughs> so uh, I'll invite or Sil or Tanut may invite one by one, and uh, we'll be honoring. Uh, okay.
So let's start up off with Ida Hullun Dale. Come on. Somebody also can take, yeah. This is a historic moment. Done? No. Thank you. Congratulations. So you can take the certificate. Thank you very much. If students want to practice showing respect in the Indian way, you can also do that. You don't have to. Just okay. Let's talk. Thank you. Kavita is really animal-friendly girl. <laughs> if you want her friendship, you bring a puppy. <laughs> Done. Sophia Hussain. Yeah. 
I have a uh, no, opinion about Karin. I don't know why I feel like she is the actual Viking. <laughs> So for Noura, uh, we have an offer from Bollywood. Uh, I told her that you look like a completely a modeling kind of thing. And then why not? After Chirag, she is going to be a star there. Yeah. So Tia for me is like very less speaking, very peaceful, very silent, going easily. Like, wow. <laughs> Just like <laughs>
Go for lunch. Go, go for lunch or go for bus party. <laughs> bus party. <laughs> okay, so congratulations. So let us uh, close the ceremony here and then uh, we'll go for a lunch. And then return back to your guest house, hotel, and then Ankit will come near 5 30 to pick you for music program. And music program we have already shared that.